My crossover will break your ankles I'll dunk the ball right in your face Watch me flex my muscles Post up, take a charge, double dribble, out of bounds Referee, blow the whistle Rebound, block a shot, drop a foul, free throw line My game is so official We playing basketball, basketball We playing basketball all day Hello, 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 and welcome to Let's Sip and Talk with Freema. Today we have a returning guest, Harold Jamison. Um, we want to speak about things in general, life, utilizing your resources, all that good stuff. So we, you know, decided that we had a great conversation. You know, he he does the thrive. You know, he 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 represents that. So I just wanted to touch on base and see how things is going for him, and to touch on things about life for other people knowledge, you know, learn from each other, as we always do on Let's Sip and Talk with Freema. So remember to, um, you know, make sure you guys follow. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Let's see a little bit about Harold Jameson before he comes on. In eight, seven seconds. McIntyre working right side. Lops it off to Jamison. Underneath, Buster Jams! Buster Jams! Six tenths of a second left. Tigers are on top, 75 to 73. The first thing that came to my mind, as soon as I caught the ball, I glanced out the corner of my eye. I didn't turn because, you know, I didn't want to give it away, but I saw Buckner, okay? And then all of a sudden, I just saw three white jerseys coming at me. So I'm sitting there praying like, Dear God, just let me get this pass through. Please just let me get it through because I knew once I got it through, it was over because I had three on me. You know, they had already doubled Terrell McIntyre and I had three coming at me. One was coming from out the trap with Terrell. And um, I think the closest guy was probably um, Antoine Jameson who was playing like short baseline. So uh, he was the only person that could have possibly gotten there. And you know, it went back to fundamentals. Ball fake one way, pass the other. And uh, just looking at that clip and thinking about it, thank God I did not bounce past that ball. I just shot it straight to him because Rick Barnes probably would have killed me. <laughs> he probably would have killed me, but, you know, um, it goes back to the fundamentals of the game. Carolina quickly calls the timeout. Jamison, boy, he had a white shirts all around him. Kepis, look at, look at Harold Jamison and his reaction to the play. I remember like it was yesterday, man. And you know, my, my, my excitement in that piece was because of the fact that, you know, growing up, uh, you know, especially growing up in South Carolina, um, I always wanted to be a Tar Heel, whether it was football or basketball, you know, I always wanted to be a Tar Heel. Um, that didn't work out, and then you know, just to beat Carolina, like I said, on 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 that big of a stage, like you know, it was almost like an accomplishment for me. Like, yeah, you know, here's the payback, you know. So, <laughs> um, a freshman, 18 years old. I mean, it really doesn't get better than that, man. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. Prima, how are you? I'm good, and thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, for the ones that haven't met you on the earlier segment we had, can you just give them a little rundown about Mr. Jameson? <laughs> the rundown. I mean, it's 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 pretty simple. I'm a country boy, home homegrown, uh, right there from Orangeburg County, actually, the big town of Vance. You know, population then was about 300. Um, but from what I've understood, you know, uh, it's grown tremendously. So. Uh, went to Holly Hill Roberts and then later, you know, continued my education at Clemson University. And um, after that, you know, uh, had a short career in the NBA um, and then uh, continue over in Europe and different parts of Asia and uh, retired about six years ago. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> my, goal, my goal was to play until I was 40, but, uh, you know, having young kids and missing significant uh, quality time with my older kids, um, I decided to shut it down and, uh, you know, 
just to be there for my boys, especially. Exactly, exactly. And I know before we were speaking about your product, Thrive, um, business still booming, everything still going great with that? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's going better than great right now. Uh, you know, as far as this year is concerned, 2020, um, every month has been bigger than the previous month. So it's been just consecutive growth month after month, even going into uh, November right now. Uh, the first seven days has been bigger than the first seven days of October. Like I said, it's been like that every month since January. So, um, you know, where a lot of people feel like during this pandemic, you know, uh, you know, there's there's been a lot of bad things, so to speak, that has happened to people and, you know, people losing their jobs and that type of deal. Um, you know, there's also been a lot of positives in people's lives as well. And like I said, you know, Thrive has been one of those things where um, during this pandemic, it just has gotten significantly bigger. So, um, right. I thank God for that, and you know I'm 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 definitely happy about that, and just to be able to be at home, you know, with my kids during this whole pandemic. Right, and that's something I speak on often. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's something I speak on often. Like I always tell people to try to find a positive out of a negative, regardless of whatever the situation is. And I know it sounds crazy to some people, but Try to find a positive out of negative. So a lot of people felt this pandemic was just the worst, you know, but that downtime or that time you were home, you could have found something positive out of it. You know, like uh, learning a talent, a hobby, crafting something, learning right. each other, your loved ones, you know, doing things a little different. So what I don't I don't like to use the word advice too much, but like what would you tell someone, you know, or what knowledge would you give someone when it comes to this pandemic? You know, what resources could they have done? What would you like to share when I say the downtime, find a, a positive out of a negative? Well, um, <laughs> you know, with the with the with the mindset that I have, I think that uh, you know, with this pandemic, uh, you know, there were certain uh, resources that were available to people. And for me, you know, having a business mind, I would have used those resources to actually start a small business. For instance, you know, the stimulus check, uh, you know, and I know a lot of people pay their bills and, you know, uh, they got caught up. But the way that I think I would have used that money to start something that was going to bring more money, whether it was a home based business, whether it was something that I always wanted to do, you know, uh, you had access to those resources to do whatever it is that you wanted to do. Um, right. But I would have used that to invest in myself so that throughout the course of this pandemic, you know, regardless of how long it lasts, I knew that I still had some stream of income coming in, especially if, you know, I was out of work or, uh, you know, later on during the pandemic got fired. Uh, the other thing is, I think it was a great time to really spend quality time with family. And, um, you know, probably during this time, I've learned more about my boys uh, probably than any other time that they've been born, you know, because even though I'm home with them every day, um, but it's different when they're not at school and, you know, uh, they don't have a lot to do because uh, I just recently, I just recently got cable in my house so uh, I don't I don't put a bunch of junk in my kids minds like they just recently got introduced to cable um, and up until this point you know um, they they watch movies they watch quote unquote educational shows things of that sort but just sitting down talking with them and uh, you know just uh, listening to how they think and uh, you know how they react to certain things, I mean, it was it was it was something beautiful, along with people that I haven't caught up with in a long time. You know, um, it was just a beautiful thing during this pandemic. Yeah. And, and see, and if someone who doesn't have the I don't know what I want to say, I don't want to say the mental capabilities, but someone who just don't think outside the box, if I'm saying it right, would think by saying it's a beautiful thing is like, is he serious? You know, but you got to look outside the box. You got to think a little 
wider than actually what's going on. You know, what they want us to see right here, right now. And that's it. We got to utilize everything yep. that's, we have to, we have to just, plain and simple, think outside the box. We have to figure yep. things out and don't just sit here and allow things or people to keep us stagnant because of what we see in the media, what's going on. We have to use this for ourselves because at the end of the day, we are me. I mean, you get what I'm saying? Like, you're yourself. If if no one's gonna love you, then then I mean you gotta love yourself, you gotta figure things out. Right. And um, you know, I I I have this conversation with people daily, and you know, I tell them, you know, uh just like your body, you know, mm -hmm. your body is what you feed it. The same thing with your mind. Your mind is what you feed it. And during this pandemic, I probably read more books uh than I ever have at any given point. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, it was a good thing, but I tell my kids the same thing, you know, um, we start our morning off with positive affirmations, um, uh, you know, and during the day, you know, uh, we get some type of reading and, you know, they're not just jumping up, uh, going to video games and, uh, you know, doing all this foolishness. I mean, they outside, they're getting exercise, they riding their bikes, scooters, whatever the case may be. But the one thing that we do is. You know, we read, we read, and uh, you can learn a lot from reading. You know, it's 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 free info. You know, um, and then personal development. You know, I'm 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 big with personal development, uh, self discipline, so to speak. Um, you know, because life is not always about what happens to you, but you know, of course, how you respond to it. But if you're not personally developed, a lot of the things that happen to you, you know, you're going to view them in a negative sense because the world around us has taught us that, you know, no matter what it is, you know, we can't see the blessings, so to speak, or the goods and maybe, you know, things that happen to us that we didn't necessarily was expecting or, you know, wanted to happen to us. But there's always, always a good in any quote unquote bad situation and you know I believe Absolutely. a lot of that comes with personal development so I, I guess I can pop my collar because I feel like I've reached that point because honestly a lot of people it's like how do you even come up with that stuff or you know no because you you just have to think differently you know you like you said you can't always just be so negative and I think that's what holds a lot of us back it's because we so focus on what the negative is, what what wasn't good and all this stuff. Instead, of we figure out, OK, had this not happened, maybe this would have happened. It would have been much worse or, you know, what have you. But no, we focus on that negative. And, and something you said about reading, Ooh, Carol, it bothers me so bad that a lot of us and I'm going to be honest, a lot of us don't read. Um, where I work, and I know people who are reviewing know where I work, but you know, it, it's a sheet that's up there. Yes, yeah, the signatures. However, it's, it's wording up there, not small, not fine print. If you need this type of service, blah, 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 sign this. 90% of the people that come in there do not need the service. You're here for something else, but you quick to come up and just in it, in it, it boils my mind. I'd be hot on the what? inside because it's like, that's for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't read it. If you know how many times I hear that. So in that case, I can put something up there. If you sign this, you owe me $5 every week, you know, and you're agreeing to it by signing this contract. And, and I have it. I'll get rich by so many people that do not read. Like we have to stop doing that. It drives me up a wall. We quit yeah, sign you know something. That's 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 when, uh, you know, for me, it's like uh, I don't I don't I don't play around with people when it comes to that, uh, you know, especially for instance, you know, like the website to my business. You know, I tell them, listen, go over the website, read the website and they'll come back with five questions that's right there available on the website. I don't answer not near one. I send them right back to the website. <laughs> I send them right back to the website. Yeah. You know, uh, like they say, reading is fundamental. Like, really, it is, you know, but if we don't take the time, and I think that's where, quote, unquote, um, a lot of our people are lost because we don't want to take the time to read. You know, we, we, we live in this microwave society where, 
you know, we want everything done for us. We want everything uh, read to us. You know, we just want somebody yeah, to do everything us. for us. And we want it quick and we want it instantly. Exactly. You know, that's, that's, that's the type of society that we live in. But, uh, you know, not knowing that reading is knowledge. You know, applied knowledge is the best thing ever. So if you don't read, I mean, how do you grow? Um, and, uh, you know, that's also something that I teach my boys, too, man. It's like, you know, you, you, you have to take your time to read and to find out things for yourself because um, I don't believe it's nothing a in the media. World out here. I don't even know if that's exactly. how the same goes, but that's what it's, it is. Exactly. Because some people are so quick to here sign this, you're good, da, 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 blah, blah, blah. and you just sign it because you're just so ready what the outcome may be, not realizing you might be signing your whole life over. You know, like you just you sign it something because you're in a rush. You're so busy right. you want to make this or get this and, and not reading. Like right. I don't understand it. I don't. It's disappointing. <laughs> it's very it's, disappointing. I mean, it's just um it's just one of those things where, you know, um it all boils down to the individual. You know, the individual has to want to do better. And, uh, you know, if they don't want to do better, they're not. It's just plain yeah. as simple as that. So. That's true. <laughs> but like you said, we're so used to, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say the handout, but let's just be honest. You know, we always want something given to us. We want it the easy yep. way. You don't want to work for it. You know, like you just... Oh, let me cut these corners and get it. No, yep. we have to read. We have to figure it out. We have to know what's going on. So you you will be able to stand on your own two feet because whoever gave it to you, God forbid something happened to him. And what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do without the person that gave you what you could have worked for, learned about? Or, you know, we have to be able to stand on our own two feet sometimes. Yep. And they, we're not doing that. Yeah. And, 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 you know, truthfully, um, that's the way they want it. Um, they want it where you have to depend on them for, mm. you know, your needs and your necessities, because that way you're easy to control. Absolutely. It's a control you know? thing. Exactly. And um, I mean, it's, 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 it's sad, but it's true. It's, it's sad, true. but it's true. We spoke about this on one of the shows, and it's not really off topic, but it goes with control with, um, I don't know if it's called um, housing or Section 8. I can't remember which one. They probably the same thing. I don't know. But you can't have your boyfriend stand there or the kid's father if you're getting assistance. You get what I'm saying? That's control. They're controlling your whole life and splitting this whole family up. So what we need to no. try to do is get out there and get it on our own so we can be a family, you know, so we can make this thing work. But again, we depend on the assistance. We depend on them holding us back because that's what it's doing. Yep. Sometimes you lose a little to gain a, a, a lot more, but people don't see it that way. Most people don't. They don't. Most people don't. Because if I have to go without eating, if my kids eat, they don't eat. But within the next couple months, I probably was building on something to where, you no, know, I don't need the extra assistance because y'all not put me in this box, you know, to control everything I got going on. So, no, I'm going to struggle for a little bit and, and, and get out there and read and figure some things out. I think we lost Harold. But, yeah, I'm going to name this segment <laughs> Reading is Fundamental because, you know, I just wanted to bring him back on because I, I, I pay attention to um, – you know, and of course, Facebook is just that. Facebook, the little blue app, social media. But you can tell when people are serious on Facebook, you know, and things like that. And I can tell he gives motivation. You get what I'm saying? So I kind of wanted to bring him back on just to, you know, have these type of discussions. Um, but yeah, I was just telling them, you know, I can tell that you like to motivate, that you like to tell it like it is, like we need to do right. So that's why I wanted to kind of have this type of discussion with you. But I'm gonna name the segment "Reading is Fundamental" because <laughs> that's what we ha that that that's what it's boiling down to. We gotta start reading, and we gotta want more for ourselves. Exactly, and um, you know, I think uh, I tell somebody any day, uh, you know, you give me somebody that's hungry over somebody that thinks they know it all any day. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> the hungry person is willing to learn and want it. They're willing exactly. to learn. The hungry person they also know it all. They know, know it all, and you can't tell me nothing right now. Or yeah. if I do sit quiet and you telling me it's one and one, not the other, because I already know it. The hungry person also know that they have everything to gain. Mm. You know, um, I mean, they're already in a situation, you know, uh, where number one, they desire more, but they also realize that what they're doing and where they're at is not working. So right. they're willing to, uh, you know, do everything they have to do except sell their soul, you know, to 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 further better themselves. And, um, you know, we as a society and, you know, I'm guilty of this as well. But, you know, uh, like they say, when you know better, you do better. You know, we get comfortable with being comfortable. You know, we 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 settle uh, for things that we know we should be settling for, whether it be our dreams, whether it be a job, you know, whether it be something because the road ahead. Is, is, is just too difficult. You know, it's less travel. You know, we want to be over there where everybody else is at. We want to be over there where our homeboy and homegirls is at, where we don't realize that, you know, it only takes one out of the bunch. And if one sees you doing something, you know, you can pull two or three with you. You know, not that they're going to go all the way to the top with you, but, you know, you can pull a couple on with you. So now, you know, that same homeboy or same homegirl that you have you know, now y'all getting it together. So now guess what? Those two or three homeboys or homegirls, they reach back and they pull another mm -hmm. two or three up. And, you know, like it multiplies, uh, you know, and, and, and not only that, but, you know, it becomes contagious because, you know, everybody is doing their thing. Everybody is, you know, being successful. Everybody is quote unquote getting it. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing when you see people, uh, you know, just living their dreams and being successful. But uh, that 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 thing that we call a comfort zone, hmm. it's a dead zone, yeah. and a lot of people don't realize it. I mean, we just we just so easily give up because of uh, you know obstacles that's in our way, so to speak, and uh, you know. Uh, the card that everyone is playing down is, you know, uh, the systemic injustices. And yes, it does exist, but don't let that be your excuse right. for not trying to pursue your dreams. Don't let that continue to be your excuse for not doing what it is that you want to do in life. Because let me tell you something. Um, it was here last night. It was here the day before and it'll be here the day after, yep. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. and, um, I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be here long after. So, you know, that's one of those obstacles that, you know, a lot of people let deter them. And, um, you know, I'm thinking about working with some people, um, you know, and uh, bringing something to that area, you know, Orangeburg County area, you know, resources and, right. you know, things on how to start businesses properly and, you know, grants and funding and, uh, you know, um, all of these good things, and you know, it's 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 not just going to be for one uh, specific demographic. It's going to be for everyone. Right. everyone. You know, um, it's going to be That'd for everyone. Be awesome. That'll be awesome because, as we always say, knowledge is power. You know, and some of us just don't know, or some of us just don't have that person that we can lean on to get that knowledge from, or some of us are just scared to ask. You know, so right. you know, we're it's almost twenty twenty one. Like, it's time to, to get out of that comfort zone and, and figure some things out for yourself. Love on yourself a little bit and strive for greater. It's, it's time. It's enough out here for everybody. We just have yeah. to, you know, get out there and get it. Yeah. And I, I mean, you know, right now, because, you know, um, the world that we live in is so technologically advanced, like mm -hmm. everything right now is pretty much going to be done online. You know, and that was the vision of the company when we came out is how can the average person have extraordinary success with our product and our business? And, you know, the first thing was uh, to have the business be cloud based, which means that, you know, basically 
it allows you to maneuver real quick. You know, it allows you to make adjustments within your business real quick. Um, but it also means that you have less overhead and you can pay people more in commissions and, um, you know, funding and that thing. So, you know, which is why I don't care what nobody say, you know, it's, it's, it's undisputable that, you know, we're the number one online business, especially when it comes to compensation online right now. Um, I mean, that's, that's, that's no secret. I mean, you know, you're talking about almost $1,600 within your first 10 to 14 days. Uh, you're talking about anywhere from 800 to 1600 car bonus every month. And you don't have to do nothing crazy, you know, to achieve that. Um, you know, if it's not a specific car, we still give you $300 car payment every month towards any car that you may have. Um, and then, you know, on top of that, you know, you have, you know, your daily or weekly commission, so to speak. I mean, you get paid weekly. We never miss the payment. Uh, you know, we have great standards with the bank. And here it is, you know, seven years later and, uh, you know, almost tipping three billion in revenue in revenue, wow. three billion wow. in seven years. And, uh, you know, we haven't reached some of the biggest places on the planet yet. You know, uh, we're not in Europe. We're not in Asia yet. You know, I mean, we're not even worldwide yet. And this is what we're doing, you know. Um, but these are the things that I try to tell people. You know, if you're complaining about money, you know, if you live in paycheck to paycheck, you're struggling. There's plenty of opportunities out there. I'm not saying that Lavelle and Thrive has to be your opportunity, but there's plenty of online opportunities out there for you to generate income or to generate money to help you start whatever it is that you want to do. And I tell people all the time, listen, Lavelle doesn't have to be your quote unquote job. It was designed to be a vehicle for most people. Right. You know, I think we losing. Uh, um, oh, We're having some technical difficulties. I don't know if it's on. But you have to find either. something to. We were losing you for a second. Uh oh. Um, in order to get you out, if that's your situation. Yeah, I lost you just a little bit. I don't know if everybody else did. Um, yeah, but from what I gathered, oh, there he goes. There we go. Okay, because we lost you for a little bit. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. But basically, you're saying use the resources. Get out there and yes. get it, whether it's part-time or full-time. But it's, it's stuff out there that goes back Definitely. to reading hair. <laughs> That's going back up, going back on there to research different things that interest you to see if it's something you can do and want to put time in. Goes back yep. to it. Goes back to it. I think we'll do better. I just, you know... The conversations that we uh, have, the conversations and, I have uh, with others, that's the purpose. It's so much. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, it's just it's just so much, um, you know. And I understand, you know, this segment, you know has been kind of lengthy, but, um, you know, there's so much advice and, you know, so much info that, you know, I can feed into people, um, and, uh, without charging them, you know, because that's how a lot of people <laughs> making a living now, you know, like, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. uh, hit me up and I'll show you how to do this. And I'll tell you how to do this. I mean, listen, there's plenty of YouTube videos. There's plenty of books out there that help you get started. 
and some that even get you to where you want to go. I mean, it's free. So, you know, why are you paying for all this crap online about, yeah. you know, these people doing this and getting rich and making this and making that? Like, it's, I mean, some of them are doing it, but the majority of them, they're just looking to get started doing yeah. something. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, I genuinely like helping people. And, um, you know, uh, that's something that I'm going to further pursue, like I was telling you, um, right. you know, because um, I wish I had some of the resources that's available now, you know, when I was much younger. Oh, my God. Like, I mean, it would have made uh, it would have made a heck of a difference in my life. Um, right. especially at an early age, especially at an early age. I mean, it's just so much out there. It is. It is. And, and it just boils down to if you know better, you'll do better. So that's what we come in at. That's why we have these conversations. That's why we share the knowledge. That's why you yep. hear from other people's perspectives so you can utilize it, so you can get the motivation you need, you know. So right. that's, that's why we do Let's Sip and Talk with Frima. So. I don't want to keep you a whole Sunday, Harold. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate yeah, you sharing yeah. the knowledge with us. We can't wait to, you know, see what you bring to Orangeburg County. I'm excited about that. You know, I'm going to be right there with the camera. Follow Harold around. Let's see what we got coming. So I'm excited. Yeah. And, and a lot of people, you know, it, it, it's good to hear that. You know, it's good to hear yep. that, that we're going to have something. Someone's trying to save us. And we oh, yeah. appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. And I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. And uh, uh, wish you the best, man, especially with your show. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And if you don't mind just sticking around for a quick two seconds once I say my goodbye on the back end, I just want to speak with you really quickly, okay? No problem. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.